So, here I am again addressing a question which sounds really interesting, really weird, and rather unrelated to electrostatics. And you might be thinking that I might find another weird method to link this to electrostatics. And you're right. Again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to make you understand why fans get dirty. So you might be thinking that fans do not get dirty because fans constantly keep moving, right? So if they constantly keep moving, then aren't they kind of like brushing off the dust which falls on them themselves? That is where your train of thought is wrong. It's pretty wrong there. Because the movement of fans constantly, probably for an hour or so, or probably for any time, that doesn't matter. The movement of fans itself allows the fans to get dirty. And believe me, a still fan, a fan which is not moving, becomes less dirty. It's, it is less dirty than a fan which is constantly moving for a particular period of time. If you do not believe me, then the experiment which I have conducted, and I'm going to show it to you next, will make you a believer. So for this experiment, I filmed two ceiling fans, one which was still and one which was moving at its top speed. And after this experiment was conducted for about one and a half hours, I wiped all the three blades of both the ceiling fans with an earbud. And I'm going to show that to you, and this will make you a believer of what I told earlier. So this is the earbud which I obtained after cleaning all the three blades of both the fans. This is the dust which I've collected from the moving fan. And you can clearly see that it is a lot greater than the dust which I've collected from the still fan, which is this earbud right here. So now that I've proven my point to you with the help of this experiment, now let us understand why ceiling fans actually get dirty. I've shown you that they get dirty, but now let us understand why this happens. So here I've written down something. When fans rotate, they're actually rubbing against the air molecules around it. They're actually rubbing against the air. So there is friction taking place. So again, frictional static electricity is being is coming into play here. So what air actually is, is that air comprises of gas molecules. It comprises of dust and it comprises of pollen grains and probably a lot more other things which I really don't know about. So, but these are the main things which are present in the air around us. And amongst all of this, what I'm most interested in is this thing right here. I'm interested with dust. That is because dust is approximately 70 to 80 percent comprised of dead human skin cells. Dead human skin cells. And this is rather interesting because this is what is actually helping them to stick to the ceiling fans. Let us go down and have a look at the Triple Electric series once again. Here in the Triple Electric series, you can see that human hands are located at the top. Let us mark it with some different color. You can see that human hands are located at the top. They are located right here. And the blades of the fan, I'm expecting that they would be made of steel, which is present right here. So these two things, human hands, is the nearest thing I could come up with because human hands are actually human skin. So that is why I thought that this would be a pretty good approximation. So when human skin rubs against steel, Human skin is higher up in the triple electric series than steel, and the distance is pretty large. So human hands get quite positively charged, and steel gets negatively charged. So as a result, when the fan is actually moving, the blades of the fan, they rub against the air, they rub against the dust. 
and by doing so the fan blades get negatively charged and the hu on the hand the human skin which is present inside the dust that gets positively charged so the steel blades get negatively charged and the dust around it becomes positively charged and just like the opposite poles of magnet attract one another opposite charges also attract one another due to which due to which the steel blades will actually attract the dust it will attract the dust and henceforth the dust will stick to the blades this is the main reason why ceiling fans get dusty the same reason applies for buses if you have ever seen a bus then you might, might have noticed how dusty it is and that's probably because they don't clean it but the underlying principle behind it getting dusty is that when it is moving at a pretty high speed when it is moving at a high speed it is actually rubbing against the air molecules around it and the same principle works here also and that's why the sides of the bus or the metal body or the outer casing of the bus gets pretty dusty. That's all for this video. Thank you very much.